Hi, and welcome to the third season of My Real Sources Quick Tips. This summer season, we'll be moving to creating our acclaimed Quick Tip series to every other week. We know it's your busy season, but still love the series. I'm Debbie Fajardo, Director of Education for My Real Source, and I hope you'll enjoy today's Quick Tip. Have you bumped into a coming soon listing and wondered, when will the showing start? Or when the activation date is? There usually isn't an agent remark letting me know when showings start, like a date and a time, or when open houses will be. There is no requirement to add agent or public remarks saying when showings start. Although you do see it in showing time, but that's a little deep. Or maybe even when the open house will be. So if agents know when the listing is going live, they could schedule a showing in the future when it would be active without worrying about the coming soon status. Today, I'll show you how to add the activation date to your spreadsheet view and to see that date quickly and also show you what reports have that activation date. Let's do that now. So how do you find that activation date? Well, let's find a listing. Either I can search for a listing or me, I usually like to find something out of my market monitor. You'll see there are no coming soon listings in this area. So let's go search for some coming soon listings. All right. So coming soon. So when are these going to be available for showings? I don't know. Do I have to call the listing agent? Because as you know, there's nothing in the public remarks nor the agent remarks. Sometimes agents will go above and beyond and do that. You'll see on the report that I'm on, the report that I'm using is the agent big photo and map. The coming soon activation date is 622. So we still have a few days to go before this is active. When you schedule a showing, you'll see that it is blocked out until the 22nd. But I'd like to know a little sooner than scheduling something in showing time. As we go through the different reports, you know that we have the all fields detail. This report, as the name implies, should have all the fields that are entered in this listing. So anything that's been entered in the listing should display. And you'll see that the activation date is right under the status. Now let's go back to that spreadsheet view. And you'll see mine is in the default position right now with the sold price and concessions here. So these are things that I can move out of the way too. I could either simply slide them down or customize them. This is the best way to add that activation date in. So we customize and tap fields. Luckily, we don't have to search for activation date. It's right at the top. I can double click on it and it throws it right to the bottom of the right hand side. But that's not where I want it. Let's take this and move it up. right next to status. Then I'm going to save. And there you have it. So now I know that this coming soon listing is going to be available on 622. Remember, you can also sort by this column. And now you have sorted by date all the activation dates. So the reports that do contain the activation date on there are going to be the all fields detail, agent big photo with map, and your legacy full agent. So if you've selected another report as your default, they might not have those in there. But remember, the all fields detail is going to be there. Then you can always customize your spreadsheet. So remember, just because you've customized this spreadsheet doesn't mean you've customized all of your spreadsheets. That's the nice thing about Paragon. Just because I have one place customized doesn't mean I want another spot to look exactly the same. 
So let's go back to our home and look at that market monitor again. So you'll see mine has already been customized here. I don't have the sold price and closing date, things like that. I customize those out of here. So if I want to show my activation date here as well, simply go through the same steps. Activation date. So I can also click and drag. And save. And there you have it. Now you know when your coming soon listings are going active. I hope you've enjoyed today's quick tip. And if you like it, don't forget to tap the thumbs up. We'll see you on the next quick tip video.